For the cruise ship industry, the last few years have been especially difficult. The sinking of Carnival's Costa Concordia claimed 32 lives. <laughs> A 2010 engine fire left Carnival Splendor adrift off Mexico, leaving passengers without electricity and few working toilets. Royal Caribbean's vessels also suffered from fire, as well as outbreaks of norovirus. But company executives say the troubled waters are behind them. Uh, we're seeing uh, that there's strength uh, in, in terms of demand, and prices are definitely um, strengthening. Much of that strength comes from cruising's main allure, the all-inclusiveness, food, entertainment and lodging all under one roof. I think part of our selling proposition is just how great a value the cruise is compared to any other destination. Royal Caribbean says providing something for everyone is beginning to pay off. We're seeing very strong demand coming uh, in Europe, which is a pleasant change. Uh, demand really picked up in the United States starting last year. Uh, Asia is just going gangbusters for us. So overall, it's a pretty nice picture. But even as the financial picture brightens, getting past images of vessels adrift without air conditioning and with broken toilets and sickened passengers is a challenge the CEOs are addressing head on. You know, these uh, disruptions are one-off events. They happen very rarely. We have thousands of itineraries a year. You heard about maybe one in two or three years of disruptions. We have an extensive protocols for how to keep people well, and that's why your likelihood of getting sick is so much less on a, on a cruise ship than it is on land. However long the odds are, the industry hopes smooth sailing is on the horizon. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.